Hey guys, it's Chris here from Gamertech, and today I'm going to show you how to enable TPM 2.0 on your computer. I'll explain what it is, why you need it for Windows 11, and then walk you through the step-by-step -step on how to turn it on. It's super simple, and by the end of this video, you'll be ready to install Windows 11 with no issues. So first, let's start with the basics. TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module. You could think of it like a security chip. It helps keep your computer safe by storing keys that protect your files, your login info, and even how your PC boots up. Windows 11 needs TPM 2.0, because Microsoft wants to make all PCs more secure. Without it, the installer won't even let you upgrade. So why do you even have to enable it? It's mainly for security. TPM works with things like Windows, Hello, BitLocker, and Secure Boot. Basically, it helps you lock down your system so hackers and malware have a harder time messing with it. And that's the reason why Microsoft made it a requirement for Windows 11. So before we even jump into the BIOS, first let's go ahead and check if your PC already has TPM 2.0 on. Hit the Windows plus the R key on your keyboard. Type in tpm.msc and press enter. A window will pop up. If it says TPM is ready and the version is 2.0, you're already good to go and you could go to our next video. But if it doesn't say that, and it says it's not available, or it shows the BIOS 1, 1 1.2, then you'll need to turn it on manually in BIOS. All right, so here is the step-by-step, -step, if it doesn't pop up, how to enable TPM 2.0. First, we're gonna go ahead and restart your computer. While it's booting back up, spam that delete key until you're in BIOS. Usually you can either press delete, F2, or F10. Once you're in BIOS, go to the advanced settings or the security tab, depending on your motherboard. Now, it also depends on your CPU. If you're using Intel, look for PTT, platform Trust Technology. That's Intel's version of TPM. If you're on AMD, look for FTPM. That's AMD's version. Whatever it is, you want to go ahead and enable it and then save and exit the BIOS. Usually you could press F10, which does it automatically for you. When your PC restarts, go ahead and run the same command, the tpm.msc, and now it should say TPM 2.0 is enabled. Now, if you've enabled TPM in BIOS and for some reason it's still not popping up, the best thing to do and the solution is to update your BIOS. Either go to the motherboard's website, download the latest BIOS, and then check again. There's been lots of instances where even for us, we've enabled TPM in the BIOS, and for some reason it's not popping up, it's not letting us install Windows 11, so make sure you update your BIOS. We have tons of videos on this channel that you could check out how to update your BIOS. Also, don't be confused if it actually says TPM on Intel's board. It's usually called PTT, or on AMD it's called FTPM. They have different names, but just check to see which one is the right one for you. That's how you enable TPM 2.0. So now you can install Windows 11, and if this video helped you out, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much. I post a ton of guides just like this to help you get the most out of your PC. And if you're looking for a custom built gaming PC, again, check us out at gamertech.ca. We built some of the best systems here in Canada. Thanks for watching again, guys. I'll see you in the next video.